All right, when we talked about space last time, I didn't talk about aerial perspective at all. And this is aerial perspective. These are, um, I did a search <coughs> and put down photographs. And obviously, some of these do not look like photographs here in the front. This one does. This one might be. Um, but with our gradient tool, it would be very easy to um, create um, gradient layers like that. And what those actually are are um, colors that soften from the light to the dark. So uh, I also then in um, Pinterest found a couple others and that's why I thought that I might be able to talk about gradients. I, this one with the sun definitely would be easy to make in Photoshop and as each one of these land layers go back this with the mountains here and the mountains here could very easily be um, gradients. So um, all that I'm basically going to do is play with what is already here as far as gradients. And when you come into gradient, the first thing that's going to pop up is the color that is in this box over here. So you can start um, with any color that you like that this would be a nice turquoise shade and since that's the, the top color that will show up as a gradient right up here at the top and that one has a white box underneath it so that means that when I pour a gradient across the screen it's going to be the turquoise and the white if I want that to be a dark color then I choose a dark color underneath it and then it's changing it to the gradient and the black. Or if I want it to be a gradient with another turquoise color underneath it, I can change the gradient with the turquoise. And now I have that as the gradient color in my bucket to use. Now, if you are drawing a, um, say a simple, um, I'm going to start with this blue to this blue in the gradient. Um, with my bucket and then you have choices of how you can do that up here at the top. This first one is showing a linear gradient with your dark color to um, the outside here um, and so that means if I come across I'm going to have the dark color to the outside but I can do it from the top to the bottom also. So that particular gradient, I started at the top and the dark's at the bottom. All I have to do to reverse that is start at the bottom and do the gradient to the top. And now that looks more like a sky that is going in the distance because at the horizon line, your sky is going to be the lightest. And at the top of the sky, which represents what's closer to you, it's going to be the darkest. So I can take that and I'm going to actually free transform it and move that up to be the sky in my picture and move that um, selection. So um, the light is at the bottom at the horizon line and the dark is at the top. All right, so if I'm looking at um, the ones with the mountains here, and this one that is purple and it has the clouds uh, really has quite a lot lighter at the background than what I have in the one that I'm working on. So um, I can go to adjust to either brightness or contrast or levels. And I can see that in real time get lighter or darker or I can change that gradient color to match that. So I'm trying to lighten it up. Um, levels I like to adjust a little bit more because um, I've got a quicker output down here. So I'm making it darker at the sky and lighter at the bottom. All right. The next thing I'm going to do is draw a new layer right here. 
and I'm going to come across with my paintbrush with this darker color of blue and just do a mountain range across. And I don't want to leave a hole. This looks pretty good, but this little peak here is um, sharper than any mountain I've ever seen. So I will just erase that and round that off just a little bit. Now if I take my um, selection tool, I can select this entire bottom layer below my drawing. And um, as far as the gradient, if I look at the examples, I'm getting the next step um, darker here and here. So if I'm staying within my blues um, and I'm flipping what I had again, I'm going to make this just a little bit darker. And then if I flip the bottom, click OK, flip the bottom and make my bottom a little bit darker too. And flip that back over. And back to my piece. And now in my gradient, if I click on my gradient, that should be a um, darker one. Let's see what happens. I'm going to the bottom up. I think it, it should be top down. There I go. Now my mountains are lighter and they're going gradually darker. I can do the same thing and free transform it again and move my mountain range up just a little bit. Cover up that pin line. And now I have a gradient level of the mountains just like in the aerial perspective or this over here. And in, in this particular one, then you could draw your mountains over and over and over again and change it. This one only has like one, two, three, four, five, six levels of getting darker. This one has five. So it wouldn't take very long to create space in that fashion of just continually um, drawing one level of mountains on top of a next le level. So just remember that each time you add a new layer and come in with your brush and kind of bury, um, you could go over the top of a, a layer of mountains if you want, bury what was there from the first time. This one again probably is is too sharp at the top. And then select it with my magic wand and make my gradient a little bit darker. And top down. And just keep repeating that step as we move forward. Easy.